One of the hottest topics in the previous season, Ty Gibbs, has finally spoken about the tragedy that has hit his family with the passing of his father. It's something you wouldn't wish on your worst enemies, let alone a younger driver who has yet to make his full-time cup debut in JGR. Although Ty is perceived as a reckless and relentless driver, no human being on the planet deserves what he is currently experiencing. Finally, he has provided an update on how he is coping with the passing of his father, and it will truly heartbreak you. Ty has become popular in recent seasons thanks to his shenanigans in the Xfinity series, and most recently, he crashed into his teammate Brandon Jones in order to win the race. Ty was already in the championship four, and by kicking Brandon Jones out of the race in the ending stages, he kicked him out of the championship fight as well. That is not a successful driver trait, and it is one that has yet to be pursued in the Cup series. However, thanks to his grandfather owning one of the most successful teams in NASCAR, his seat was guaranteed even before he made all of the reckless moves in the Xfinity series. Gibbs went on to win the final race of the season, capping off the championship with a dominant performance. The last race was something that was hugely praised by his rivals, who were also in a close fight for the trophy, but thanks to Ty's dominant performance, they couldn't stand a chance. Still, Brandon Jones has been really bittered by Ty's actions, and he further added that although he had a lot of respect for Ty, he lost all of that respect thanks to what he did at Martinsville. This meant that Brandon Jones was leaving JGR from the Xfinity Series and joining JR Motorsport, a team that has a strong chance of joining the Cup Series in the near future. So that leaves Ty as one of the most reckless and unwanted drivers on the grid. On top of that, he would have massive pressure on his back to perform well, now that he's been placed on a team that has proven in the past that it can win championships. What is even more on his back is the fact that he replaced Kyle Busch, who was the fan favorite driver of JGR, and a driver that won two championships for the team in the 18 years he he spent with them. But the way that he's been sacked just for the team owner to bring in Ty Gibbs as his replacement is a bittersweet divorce and just goes to show that everything is business here in this sport. We'll get into that later in this video. But let's see what Ty Gibbs has to say about his father's passing. Ty's father, Coy Gibbs, was also a very respected member of JGR, and he died just one day prior to the Cup Series finale. What's even more tragic for Ty is that he just won the Xfinity Series Championship, and now he has to deal with the fact that his father, his biggest supporter, is no longer with them in the living. This is a nightmare scenario for anyone, let alone a 20-year-old boy that is yet to make it onto the big stage, and losing his biggest support and his hero prior to making his debut as a full-time racing driver in the Cup Series has left an irreversible mark on his soul and his mentality, that is for sure. Ty hasn't spoken about it since a few days ago, and during the NASCAR awards show in Nashville, Ty refused to answer any questions about his father. Still, Ty broke his silence on Instagram by publishing a video of him hugging his father and captioning it with some heartfelt words about the unbreakable bond that both of them had with each other. In the tweet, Gibbs said, I love you, Dad. God blessed me with you in my life. I am thankful for every second I got to spend with you. Thank you for always loving me and having my back through every situation. I am excited to see you again. John 316. Prior to this, the last time that Ty Gibbs was seen on social media was the night of his first championship victory, sharing a photo of him enjoying the moment in one post and thanking Mario Andretti for his congratulatory message in another. And as we mentioned earlier in this video, during the NASCAR awards, the first question that Ty received was about his father. Obviously, the media has no respect or mercy for this situation whatsoever, as they are trying to dig in more info from a kid that is going through so much in his life now. Still, Ty remained composed and answered the question with a perfect note, adding, Yeah, I've been doing good, thank you for asking. I definitely appreciate you guys. But we've been doing good, doing a lot this week for all this media stuff, so it's been kind of fun to experience all that. Yeah, for right now, I'm not going to touch any of that subject at all. I'm just going to stick with all the racing questions and I will go from there. Now that Ty is a part of JGR as a full-time driver, the future in racing is surely bright for him. However, what isn't bright is the fact that his biggest supporter won't be there to watch him and to cheer him up in person, as well as provide him with much-needed advice in tough times. While we believe that Koi is up there in the clouds, watching proudly over his son, there is still so much work for Ty to do in order to remain in the Cup Series. One thing that he needs to do is collect himself and make sure that he will continue with his life, just like his father wanted. Obviously, the challenge presented to him is a huge one, and he won't be able to do it just like that. There is a lot of work he needs to do just to become a better version of himself, as the last thing he needs now is to be remembered as the reckless and mindless driver that doesn't care about the others, just about himself. Many thought that Ty Gibbs was going to fold under the pressure of performing on the big stage, which is why he needs a huge lead right now in this patch of his career. With his father gone, he is obviously going to seek support from his teammates. However, if you seek something, you need to give it back as well. And that is exactly what Ty needs to do if he wants to be remembered as this great driver who knows how to learn from the more experienced ones. 
Prior to his father's death, he was constantly chastised, not only for his inability to respect others, but also for the way his grandfather, the team's owner, handled situations in which Ty was primarily to blame. That is something that Ty will also have to prove wrong. But apart from him, the negative spotlight is also on his grandfather, who is the owner of the team. The situation with Brandon Jones got the worst out of Ty Gibbs, and that is something that Ty and his grandfather know best. But when his grandfather said that it's always difficult to address situations in which your family is involved, that is when people started to doubt that Ty wouldn't be addressed properly for his mistakes in JGR. He has some pretty big shoes to fill, and Kyle Busch will definitely be out there looking for revenge just behind Ty's back in Richard Childress Racing's car. On the other hand, JGR is now being bashed for the way they are treating Denny Hamlin, so overall, it's not good times for the family-owned team. Whether the future will turn out to be a good one or a bad one for JGR and Ty Gibbs, only time will tell. What we can be certain of is that Ty will have a difficult time proving that he is worthy of the Cup Series, even without his father's passing. It's not impossible given the fact that he has the talent and the speed, but if he is able to change some of his toxic traits of not caring about his teammates and all the other drivers on the grid and think just about his reputation, then rest assured that he has a bright future ahead of him. What do you think about Ty's confession about his father? Do you think that he will be a solid player in the Cup Series? Let us know in the comments below.